हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन दिस इज कृपा शंकर पी एच डी स्कॉलर आई आर आई पूसा न्यू डेली टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट आई सी आर जे आर एफ हॉर्टिकल्चर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन पेपर सो फ्रेंड्स आई हेज बी नो दैट द पैटर्न ऑफ आई सी आर एग्जाम्स इज नाउ चेंज सो यू हैव टू गो लिटिल विद डिफरेंटली एंड इन डीप सो नाउ कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन राष्ट्रपति भवन गार्डन वॉज डिजाइंड बाई सो नॉर्मली द एंसर इज इट बिन ल्यूटियन so if you want to know little bit more about this so just listen carefully and write down somewhere like it's a example of mogal garden that is formal style of garden and formerly known as uh, viceroy house which which is designed by which was designed by british architect sir edwin lutian and completed in 1929 inaugurated in 1931 and renamed as rashtrapati bhavan garden in 1950 earlier it was viceroy house Coming to the next, in stone fruits, the period of suspended growth coincides with pit hardening. The right answer is fourth option. That is pit hardening. Generally, as we know that in the case of stone fruits, just remember it like first slow growth period involve lignification of the endocarp. Firstly, it is start with lignification of the endocarp, which leads to the which leads to the pit hardening. So, right hand answer is pit hardening. Now coming to the next, Pusa Diti is developed variety of grapes. So Pusa Diti it's a hybrid variety which is cross between uh, uh, Bunky Avet and Perlet. So it's early maturing and seedless variety which is tolerant to anthracnose and fortry mildew. So friends, all those varieties which is assistant to different biotic and abiotic stress in different fruit crops or in all the horticultural crops, you just remember all the specific varieties which have some important properties. As like Pusa Diti is resistant to, or you can say that tolerant to anthracnose and powdery mildew. Similarly, other variety of grape just focus on the all those variety which is resistant to different diseases and pests like, uh, uh, I think Pusa Trisar. It is it is also tolerant to anthracnose powdery mildew as well as termite. Similarly, Pusa Swarnika, which is also tolerant to powdery mildew and anthracnose. So remember all those variety. Uh, now coming to the next. Given below, there are two statement. so you have to read all those statements nicely if your concept your is clear then you can do all these questions very easily tuberose is susceptible to root knot nematode statement 1 which is exactly right and statement 2 is root knot nematode in tuberose can be minimized or controlled by crop rotation with marigold that is also right so it means both statement 1 and statement 2 are true so first option is right now coming to the next see given below there are two statements just focus on statement 1 cytokinin promotes chloroplast development and chlorophyll synthesis yes it's true cytoplasm sorry cytokinin promotes chloroplast development and chlorophyll synthesis this statement is correct why because cytokinin regulate nuclear and plastid gene expression and it alters protein abundance to exert its role on chloroplast development okay now see statement 2 cytokinin delay senescence of cut flower yeah it's also right so it means both statement 1 and statement 2 are true now coming to the next the most suitable vegetable to be grown in saline soil it's a common question yes we true Match the following. See this matching; it's very easy. Lycopene, beta cyanin, beta carotene, capsaicin. Like uh, lycopene, what is the right answer here? That is water, watermelon. Then another one is beta cyanin. Right answer is beetroot. Then beta carotene, that is carrot. Then capsaicin, that is chili. Another question is seed crop of coriander should be harvested when? The right answer is. Fifty percent turn yellow. These answers, you, if you used to read all those books like uh, textbook of vegetable tuber and spice by Thambura sir, so you will get these things in detail in coriander chapter. Like they mention like uh, if you want to uh, harvest like green purpose, so it will take only thirty to thirty five days. And for if you want that green, so it will take ninety to one forty days. And if fifty percent turn yellow, so it's a harvesting period for seed purpose especially. Now coming to the next, there is two statement. Just read it nicely. 
Whiptail is a physiological disorder of cold crop caused by deficiency of molybdenum. It's a common and it occurs frequently in saline and alkaline soil. It means it's wrong because molybdenum deficiency is found in low acid condition. It means a low, low acid condition. It means if you have to maintain that low acid condition. So what we have to do? We have to apply lime to increase their pH because molybdenum found at higher pH. This is also important question. It means statement 2 is wrong statement 1 is right so the right answer is third statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is false remember it nicely okay coming to the next rani saiba is a variety of so right answer is uh, rose uh, actually rani saiba this is a variety which is developed from cmap lucknow and it's a variety of Roja Damsena or Bifera. And which of the following chemically used for doubling chromosome? So it's a common colchicin. But remember the formula of colchicin. Sometimes it's also used to us like C22, S25, O6, and it's a formula of colchicin. Now you have to go in deep like how colchicin works when it is used to apply on the uh, treating material or propagules. How it double the chromosome? It double chromosome by preventing the microtubules formation okay and uh, generally it is found in colchicum autumnal that is also called as autumn crocus or mid uh, meadow saffron and one more thing i just want to mention here like its a concentration in bulb of autumn crocus is 0.1 to 0.5 percent and found maximum in seeds that is 0 0.2 to 0.8 percent and now coming to the next this is also matching it's very easy matching granulation black tip fruit cracking pink blush what it means of this blush blush means it's nothing but it's related to specifically related to wine which is made from red wine grape so it's like blush bending it's a common in rose which of the following is warm season of grass as we know that most of the all the joecia species they are suitable for tropical condition like joecia japonica that is Korean grass, Joycea metriella, that is Manila grass, Joycea tunifolia, that is Korean grass. These are suitable for tropical condition. Okay, so right answer is Joycea. Other like Kenchuke, Bluegrass, Fetuka, Agrotis, these are suitable for cold condition, cold climatic condition. Which of the following is pre emergence herbicide? So see here, Atrogen, it's a pre emergence, Pendimethylene, it's pre emergence, and Glyphosate 240, it's post emergence. So right answer is first and two. Which of the following fruit has highest TSS? Right answer is bale. Now see this matching. Scab resistant. So right answer is Salimar apple 1. Dwarfing root stock. That is M9. Then low chilling. That is another IT. Then woolly apple aphid resistant. Melton 793. So second option is right. The symbol for the gene controlling bitter free cucumber fruits is so here just see the right answer is small b i b i this uh, the gene so another question is the botanical term of banana inflorescence is so according to the option the right answer is first that is thyrus uh, generally thyrus it's an inflorescence of the banana that is main axis continuing to grow in lateral branches which have determinate growth so its protogynous condition is found in banana and that bract is modified leaf so there are so many things in banana like male bud is called as bell and uh, like there is some other things like that circular uh, circular or you can say that that cylindrical leaf which is you can found at the top of the banana pseudo stem that is called a cigar leaf that folded one it takes around seven days to unfold and uh, uh, some other points that is it's related to its suckers that is uh, like in hawaii that Sucker is called as pup and keki. So there are a lot of questions related to banana morphology. So I'll cover in some other video related to this. Now coming to the next, the permitted sulfur dioxide uh, limited for sweetness of RTS is so actually whatever we read in different books is like 100 ppm, but the right answer is 70 ppm by FSSI. Okay, now coming to the next, which of the following hedge is most suitable for landscape in the arid region? That is Lawsonia inermis. Fenugreek seeds contain the right answer is diacyanin that is mostly used for development of contraceptive pills. 
now the crop crop having maximum area under genetic modified seeds in india that is cotton apple cultivar having triploid chromosome are so the right answer is golden uh, the right answer is gravenstein and uh, jonah gold it means option two and three other than gravenstein jonah gold baldwin is also triploid mutsu and rode island sometime like uh, it's like Jonah Gold parentage also used to us. So the right answer of Jonah Gold parentage is golden delicious crop be diploid Jonathan, not triploid. So other question like uh, in this case uh, in apple especially you have to remember all those biotic and abiotic stress resistant sources and different rootstock and some triploid diploid tetraploid species are also used to us like Melus sicimensis that is triploid, Melus argenti that is tetraploid, Melus sibodi that is in sibodi diploid, triploid, tetraploid everything is found. And some epitalus cultivar is also there in apple. Epitalus means they are petalless cultivars like Spencer seedless, OU3. What is the properties of epitalus cultivar? Just remember that those cultivars which are epital or you can say that petalless they are parthenocarpic in nature and seedless fruit because in insect do not visit on those epitalous flower and if you want seed or scientists want seed so what they used to do they used to do hand pollination in epitalous cultivar especially okay androsy sex form is found in which spice crops right answer is coriander it's common question hollyhock and sweet pea suitable for screening purpose at 3.3 meter spacing the number of plant per hectare in hexagonal system you can calculate it by taking help of uh, like um, uh, Jitendra Singh book basic horticulture the most common method of propagation for falsa so right answer is according to the option the right answer is seeds but if you want to do any scientific work like research work for research purposes you have to take hardwood cutting especially because to maintain it's as a clone or to reduce the variability in epicotyle grafting of mango callus stage for a graft union extend from 10 to 30 days okay which which is considered a calcifuge crop that is banana one year old apple tree consisting of single stem are known as that is whip okay next is matching so bitter pit the right answer is calcium little leaf that is zinc fruit cracking that is boron marginal burning of leaf that is potassium the PD1 gene from allium royally conferring resistant to downy mildew is located. So right answer is chromosome number 3. PD1 and PD2 is responsible for powdery mildew. It's responsible for downy mildew resistant and source is allium royally. So friends thank you. Another part we will discuss in another video.